You want to tell me what you were doing at her house on October 6th? I had went to peacefully try to resolve in getting my television back. My sister had gone off to college, and I had wanted to give her that TV to use during college. Okay, but you didn't see the TV there. I didn't see it there. Right. I tried to peacefully okay. resolve. Well, how do you want to peacefully resolve it? How do you peacefully resolve it? You know I'm not believing you, right? Correct. You know I'm not believing sure. you. Sure. Okay. So you got to the house. When immediately preceding October 6th, had you gone to the defendant's house before? No. No. You mean that October 6th was the first day you went, you were ever at her new apartment? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay. How did you get her address? A mutual friend of ours had provided it. Okay. You now, stalked me. Now, <laughs> let me go back a second to this other nonsense that you're suing her for, which is gas money. Uh, sure. Okay. Now, tell me when you believe she owes you money for what trip? When did you go on a trip that she owes you gas money we for? We had went to it. Day, uh, day and date. We had went on a trip in June of 2016 to a festival in Michigan. June 2016. Okay. And who drove? I did. So you picked her up? Yes. Did she go into the house? No. Let's get back to the phone. October 6, 2016, you went to her house to, according to you, resolve the issue of the TV, which you didn't see in the house. And? It went very, very badly. Well, no, I want you to tell me what happened. I had... You went in there and you said to her, she said to you, did you call first before you went over? Uh, no. So you went over unannounced. What time? Uh, it would have been at 4 p.m. It was later than that. What time? I think it was like 5.36. I was just getting off of work. Okay, keep going. So I had gone in, she had let me into the apartment, in which uh, a fight escalated. She had... No, I want you to tell me what you said to her and what she said to you. She was coming home from work. I said once again from the text messages that I sent her, it had been a really long time. All I would like is for my TV back. I would like to be done with this friendship and to call it quits after that. She didn't like that fact, so then it, it escalated into a scuffling match where she actually physically dragged me out of the apartment. Are you telling me that at that time she didn't say to you, I don't have your TV? Yes, that's what she told me. I, I okay, didn't see, I didn't see it in her apartment. And you said to her... I... Oh, just a second, don't make it up. What? She said to you, I don't have your TV. Look around my apartment. I don't have your TV anymore. And what did you say to her? It just basically, I just started announcing that I was really upset with the fact of that, that she would be the spiteful towards me when I was being just nothing but helpful. What were you being helpful about? Helpful by letting her use my TV, transporting no, you gave her, her the to TV. the... you gave her the TV. A year, a year before. You changed your mind. I didn't give her the TV. Okay. Yes, you did. No, I okay. didn't. So you come in, you see there's no TV. She says, I don't have your TV anymore. What else were you fighting about, Miss Rodriguez? It was just that specifically how spiteful that she was in this entire relationship. When I, friendship, friendship. Relationship. Friendship. Relationship. Oh, heck. Don't, don't. I don't swing that way. Don't. Don't oh my speak. God. Not my type. Just a second. Don't. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't. Sorry. I had recited that she had been very spiteful. That I, I heard she had been very spiteful. Okay. And she told you to get out. I don't have your TV. And then it started turning into a shoving well, match. Well, how did that come about? She told you, get out, I don't have your TV. You had to leave. No, she kept throwing very, very, a lot of slurs at me. She kept pushing me and shoving me. And then eventually it just got into a scuffling match where she basically dragged me outside. She went back into the apartment, came out with my phone, threw it, hit the pavement, shut the door. Did she tell you to leave her home? No. <laughs> you mean she was pushing you out the door, not telling you to get out? No. Ms. Rodriguez? I don't believe you. I don't think I'm ever going to figure out exactly what this case is about, and quite frankly, I don't care. I'm not wasting another second worth of time over a five-year-old television set that you gave her as a gift. We're done. Your case is dismissed. I just excuse me, step out. Things change and you move on. She had been bothering me for a long time. She had an alcohol problem and just really needed this to be over. I used to be, but I got off of that bandwagon and now I'm sober. It was a dark time. She was a different person then. You know, good riddance, I uh, have a nice life and you move on.